There we go. Hey, what's going on guys? Brandon here with Texas Plinking. You guys might recognize this gun. I made a video with it a little while ago, but I didn't shoot long range. In fact, we were just kind of shooting monitors and watermelons and just kind of blasting around. And at the time it wasn't even sighted in. But you see it set up with a different optic. And so let me explain. Uh, it's been a little bit since we did long range. So I'm looking forward to uh, getting back into the subject here for this video on a gun that you guys requested to see long range in particular. But this is something from Horus Vision, but it's part of a whole kit. There's a larger story to just the scope. Um, but Horus, you guys might know that name from reticles, the Trimmer 3, H59, etc. Well, to make it brief, Horus designed some really, really great and informative reticles. Uh, I have a Trimmer 3 on my Razer HD Gen 2, 4.5 to 27 by 56. That's a very expensive scope. It's a great scope, though. But you'll see that on, I believe, some Schmidt and Bender's Night Force, some high dollar stuff, but Horus designed it. Well, what Horus have done here is introduce this 5 to 20 by 50 with a 30 millimeter tube, the first focal plane scope, but they threw the reticle in there. And it's a very economically priced scope considering what it is and how great the glass quality is and the fact that it's got the Tremor 3. Again, though, that's not the whole picture. That's actually just a fourth of the whole story. You see, what they did here is you could buy the standalone scope and as it goes, it's a great scope. Horus also makes a laser rangefinder. Again, as a standalone rangefinder, it's great. This one right here is pretty economic as well. It ranges out to 2,000 yards if the lighting conditions are right. It measures angle. There's a scanning feature to where you can hold it down and then release. And it's just a, it's a trick rangefinder, okay? And also, as a standalone weather station, Horus makes a great one here that will measure your wind speed. You can see how sensitive it is, how fast it's turning just right now. Uh, temperature, uh, barometric pressure, humidity, and it kind of gets all that to estimate your uh, altitude. The fourth piece and the final piece to the whole puzzle is Horus makes a ballistic calculator, uh, an app for iOS or Android that is free. And these, again, standalone app, scope, weather station, laser rangefinder, independently are great. But the thing is, when they all are used together, this and this, the weather station and the laser rangefinder, actually have Bluetooth. So when you connect that to your phone, you can easily just get the weather station here, and it says you can accept it, go ahead, punch it in, get your range for this, and it'll tell you exactly once you've already put your, you know, um, ballistics of whatever round you're shooting. You could just laser range find something, and then it's gonna say exactly how to compensate for that. The cool thing with it is the Tremor 3 is a very, very informative reticle. On the app, I'll probably throw some B-roll here of how it is in use. On the app, it actually shows the reticle. To most people, it's very, very complex and busy, but it really gets simplified through the app because it actually shows a uh, the reticle itself. And with the range, with everything that you had implemented, it'll show a little red dot on how to hold over for windage and elevation. So it's really, really simplified. So, oh, and lastly, of course, importantly, the price. You're probably expecting a, uh, a very, very heavy premium on this. All of it all together is just under 1800 bucks, 1799. We'll call it 1800. That's more than fair. Uh, just get yourself a set of rings and uh, you got a crazy, crazy good uh, long range setup there. I'm gonna be shooting Federal Premium 175 grain uh, Sierra Match King out of this thing seems to be doing pretty darn good out of this uh, one in 10 twist 18 inch barrel uh so my bore height is a little tall it's a uh, three inches federal 175 308 ballistic coefficient 0 0.505 g1 uh if none of this makes sense i made an introduction to long range to simplify all this stuff anyway uh let's see here muzzle velocity i'm going to estimate out of an 18 inch based off some videos i saw because i don't have a chronograph about 2400 feet per second it's kind of slower we'll see how that goes uh, zeroed it at 100 yards, and then we're all good there. Now, here comes the target here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a target here, and I turn the Bluetooth on my phone on, turn this guy on, and then pair it, super quick. And it's, uh, it says rangefinder's waiting for me. Let me find my target. Yeah, just about exactly what I thought it would be. Let's double check. 455 yards. So true, I've done that before with another rangefinder. So we're gonna go ahead and plug that in, save successfully. Atmospheric conditions, that's where we bring this guy out. And the wind seems to be blowing about right here. All right, so you go ahead, capture, capture, and then all good. So right now, it says for a target at about 455 yards, uh, I need to come up with everything considered, 3.2 mils. Now the wind's gonna be one challenge. You could get a you know a wind call from here. It says 1.3, now 3.8, there it's gusting a little bit, 5.5. The thing is though, 
this wind's just gonna be like that. And right now we have like this little tree protection to where whatever the wind is here, it's not true down there. So wind is always neat, but you're never gonna know what the wind's doing where you're shooting, especially in the hill country of Texas. So that's cool to get a reference on, but you just can't trust that all the way. Let's go ahead, start off at 455. Apparently I need to hold 3.2. I'm not dialing, I'm just gonna hold over because uh, it's pretty cool that the app tells me exactly where to hold with a little red dot there. So pretty neat. Let's go ahead and give it a whirl. 3.2 and I'm gonna be holding over to the left 0.7 right now. We'll see how that goes. I expect to miss initially just to get my bounds because this wind is ridiculous. Alrighty, that ain't bad. I'm trying to remember just exactly how much I held for wind though. 0.7, there we go. Oh, I must have barely skimmed it. Looks like it kind of, it rang a little bit. Oh, I knew I pulled that to the right. I knew I pulled it to the right. Yeah, man, that's, that's repeatable. I found exactly, that's why I love the trimmer three. I found a new dot to hold off of. So I went right at three, maybe about 3.2 like it said, but I found like the first large dot to the right and actually looking at it, it's exactly where that red dot is on the app. Uh, so I should have probably just trusted that more, but it's on the money. All right, well, that's 455. Um, I guess we'll try the other one, which should be about 685 to, uh, to 690-ish. So let's go ahead and use this rangefinder here. Yeah, that's three for three. I said just about 685. So that's pretty much on the money. I'm gonna go ahead and run it. And now apparently I have to hold 1.1 to the left and hold 6.6 .6 up. All right, that'll be a fun one. All righty, just north of 680 yards. I don't recall doing this just simply holding over. I always dial, so I'm aiming way over the hill, which seems a little unnerving. Might have been just the left, I can't really tell. There we go. Cool, well, loaded up three, got the last two. Yeah, once you kind of just find where to hold, as long as the wind stays for the most part pretty still, then it's pretty good. There we go. There we go. Oh, to the right. I say we ended on a hit. That ain't too bad, man. So again, uh, pretty new at the whole holding over, not dialing. It took a lot in me to not dial whenever I was missing just slightly. So we're just doing some holdovers and uh, still with the 100 yard zero. So 455, you saw the effectiveness of this. 686, absolutely effective. Uh, it's just kind of up to me to get more experience on holding over. Anyway, uh, probably hopefully a relatively short video. Don't want it to be terribly long, but um, that's kind of a look back at this rifle. You guys were requesting it, but this Horus kit here uh, with the five to 20 by 50 first focal plane, um, the range finder, the ballistic calculator and the weather meter all together for just about $1,800. It's kind of crazy. I'll probably throw a link in the description, make it easy for you guys, but uh, very, very cool. Still kind of getting my bounds with it, but uh, hopefully this kind of showed you some uh, something with it. It's working out pretty darn well. So I'm sure you guys will see this whole kit in the future as well when we kind of do some more long range oriented videos. Uh, but anyway, that's a quick look at this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Got some fun content planned very soon. So uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Take care.